Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing the new moon reading. Actually, it's not the new moon reading. It's a daily reading for, for August 8th, okay, 2021. It is a new moon this morning. It was a new moon this morning. I'm sure we're all in different time zones, but the new moon happened about, about an hour ago. So we're technically, we're still in the new moon energy, but it's text, like, technically now waxing now. So, um, yeah, the energy has been really strong. I just wanted to get on and do a new moon reading. Uh, I keep saying that, a new moon reading. Um, <laughs> get on and do the daily reading while we're in the new moon energy. And we're also in the Lionsgate portal energy as well, okay? Um, today would be considered its peak. Okay. We still, you're still going to be in the Lionsgate energy until the 12th. It started on July 26th. So this is a great time for manifesting. Okay. Even releasing and purging. A lot of you may feel that type of energy right now because the energy is trying to get you to release what is no longer serving you in a very rapid pace. Okay. And we usually say that during the full moon when we're trying to release and stuff, but right now the energy is very strong because it's trying to reset for you. You're trying to start a new cycle here. So holding on to anything that is not good for you right now, anything that is blocking your blessings, anything that is stifling your potential, anything that is hindering your growth, anything that's blocking you from moving to a new level is really trying to be purged right now. And that for you could be a person, it could be a way of thinking, it could be a mindset, right? Some of us could be in a pattern of lack and always thinking we don't have enough. Well, the universe is trying to get you to release that energy right now. Okay. So before I get started, also, I want to say that I am opening my personal readings back up. If you've been waiting for a personal reading from me, you will get it today. I have about five of them that are uploading right now. And usually when they're uploading at, together like that, it takes a little bit of time. So it's coming. Okay, I hope you see this. It's coming today. Uh, don't blow up my email. Thank you very much. All right. Um, and if you would like a, um, a personal reading, my email is ariessoulguidance222 at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me an email, and that email will be in the description box as well, okay? So the first part of this reading is going to be oracle messages, okay? So uh, for the people who don't like the oracle messages, you can go ahead and fast forward to the tarot, but I always feel like this gives us really great energy and really great messages that we may need to hear at this moment in time. Um, let's go ahead and get started for the Aries Collective for August 8th, 2021, Holy Spirit. Spirit guides and angels. So I'm starting with the guardian messages. I love these cards here. I think my um, one of my dear subscribers, Sanisha, got me these cards. Love it. Um, and if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I know she did get me um, a gift or two. So let me go ahead and get started here. So these guardian angel cards here give you answers, give you insights to the prayers and the things that you manifesting so be thinking about something that is on your mind that you're trying to create and this message here is for you all right holy spirit spirit that's an angel so please allow me to deliver a clear message for the aries collective what message does aries need to see today please give us one card for august 8th 2021 what will be the message that will serve their highest good? All right. Thank you. Wow. So this is definitely in this Leo energy right now. The card that we got is action. Wow. That couldn't be more fire energy. And at the bottom, we have manifestation. And that's my first time seeing that card. So... I'll read that in a second. So we have action. Drop all fear and just do it. Oh, I love that. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Um, look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. Wow. Beautiful energy to start off with, right? It is time. If there is fear, if fear is just 
an illusion, okay? So if there is fear in the way, if there's fear that's blocking you from starting something, this is your message. This is your sign right now to get to it. It is time, even if it's the smallest action of going buying a planner today, right? And and, and labeling your week of what you're going to get done and just the small steps to your goal, that's beautiful. It's forward momentum, right? It's showing the universe that you are ready. So I'm going to pull a card from my Secret Wealth Oracle deck here. This will be your affirmation for today, okay? I think it's called the secret, your sacred, um, your sacred wealth code oracle deck. Okay. So give us an affirmation for Aries for today to step in their divine power and their manifesting power to create their abundance. Thank you. Okay. Wow. More fire energy here. We have the engineer, which is. Um, has the energy of Mars, which is our planet. Every problem has a solution. Beautiful. Ah, I love this. You know why? Because this goes hand in hand with the whole fear thing. I, I used to do this myself so I could talk about you right now because I know I'm talking about you. The type of people who have these beautiful, brilliant ideas and they're ready to get started and then everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be in alignment. Then something goes wrong. Well, I can't do this because this. And then I can't do this because this. That is your way of creating problems for yourself or creating, creating resistance for yourself to not get started when you need to get started. Um, it's like the perfectionism syndrome or whatever you want to call it. And I tell people all the time, like I've started two channels before, okay? And it led me to the next one and it led me to the next one, right? Until it just leads you to something. So that's why it's always important to just start taking action. Everything does not need to be perfect for you to start taking action because I promise you, your mistakes are the key to your success. And if you're not making mistakes, you don't know how to get to that success, okay? And I, f I see that in a problem with a lot of people is that they feel like everything has to be absolutely perfect. When in hindsight, I promise you from that first project, everything's going to change to your final um, outcome anyway. It really is, okay? So I'm going to pull one oracle card, one oracle message here. For the lessons or things that you may be purging right now. All right, things, maybe lessons that you've learned throughout this cycle, throughout this year, since the last line of state energy, or since the last moon cycle here. So let's see here. What is the area of focus or lesson or that they have been learning? All right, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides and angels. Please give me a card for the Aries Collective. Thank you. These cards are coming out fast and ready. So we have growth. Let me show you the card here. Okay. So I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness here. I feel like this is all going hand in hand. A lot of you, I don't want to say you've been afraid to grow. But I think there's things that have been in front of you that have really stifled your growth, okay? And so now you are expanding your consciousness and you are being assisted by the universe during this period. There are things that are being illuminated to you before that were right in front of your face that you were just simply not able to see because of the circumstances or the people who were around you. But now you're entered in a period of rapid growth, rapid expansion. So this is the time to really jump in that energy and to take that action here that is being called to you to do, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pull some before I get into the tarot. I'm gonna pull a few Moonology cards here. Since we are in this new moon in Leo energy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Gods and Angels, what do the Aries Collective need to see? There it is. Every time I split the new moon, there it is. So let's go ahead and get started. What 
can the Aries Collective need to see today? Okay, so we have some Taurus energy coming out. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Wow, this is because of this action that you're taking. This is because of this expansion. This expansion is happening for you as well. A lot of you, if you've seen the, um, I did a Lionsgate reading yesterday. There's a lot of prosperity ahead for a lot of you, okay? Um, and I think it has to do with releasing old patterns, old cycles, and old people who may have been stifling this abundance that's coming towards you. This is also a great time to be manifesting actual wealth, right? Material, the tangible things right now, okay? Not just the spiritual abundance, but this is a great time to be manifesting those coins for sure. So this, you want to get into a high vibration because that is what attra like attracts like. All right, so let's see here. What else do we have for the Aries Collective? So we have full moon in Aquarius, a completion, a cycle is ending. Show the world the real you. No more hiding yourself. That part, that phase is over now. This is going along with the growth here. Expanding your consciousness now and not being afraid to show people you, what you have to offer, your gifts, what you're contributing to this world, who you are. Some of you, this is just as little as speaking up for yourself. Okay, and I know that resonates with a lot of people. Sometimes we tend to be people pleasers, so we bite our tongue and not say what's on our mind, but that's who you are, right? And you deserve to have a voice. You deserve to be, you know, speak when you need to speak. Nobody should be stifling you or, um, that's the word for the day, right? It's like the third time I've used that word. But nobody should be, you shouldn't feel like you should, you would, you are not able to be you and every, situation in front of every type of person and every type of in front of every platform right some of you this is a card here where you just need to some of you have been guided because i get a lot of emails like this some of you are being guided to start your own channel right and you probably still haven't started your channel because you're trying to um find seek perfectionism right so this is the time, this is your message of needing to go out and just start it. Create it, create a Google account, create your YouTube channel, and start speaking. If you haven't planned out exactly what you want to say or what you want to do or how you want to do it, just start. Just let it flow. Just talk. Maybe there's a message that you need to get out that somebody needs to hear as well. Okay? So let's get one more card. So at the bottom of the deck, we have it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Oh, wow. Underneath that, we do have the new moon in Leo. Confidence is key to your success. Okay. We have two cards that fell out here, though. So what do you need to release, guys? What is blocking your blessings? Oh, my God. Whoop, look at that. That is so crazy. Okay. So this card says it's time to release negativity. Actually, the card that fell on the table, I didn't see it until I just looked down, is what do you need to release? What do you need to release, okay? Because whatever that thing is, whoever that is, is blocking you from this prosperity that's coming your way. Also, that fell on the table is a time for healing, the balsamic moon. A time for healing. And it is. When you're purging, when you have to think about it, when you're uh, purging things or energies out of you, there's an emptiness that comes with that, and a hollowness, which is okay, but then you have to feel that back in, right? And that's that healing energy. You have to feel that light, that white light back inside of you, because if you don't, then what's going to happen is that the negativity is going to seep its way back into a comfortable place. So it's always important when you are releasing that you're also pouring back into yourself as well. I did. I said I was going to be on here a lot earlier than I was, but I was actually later because my self care ritual this morning just needed a little bit extra TLC today. Been feeling kind of tired and drained, but I think it's the energy that around me. And I just said, you know what? I just need to be with myself for a little while, you know? And so speak positive words of affirmation, and it works. One thing I always tell people don't neglect yourself. There's a lot of things that you can neglect, but do not neglect yourself. Okay. All right. 
So what do we have here for this daily reading for the Aries Collective? What do they need to see? I'm using the Modern Day Witch Tarot, which is also in my description box. All of these decks are in my description box if anybody would like to purchase them, except for the Guardian Angel. I haven't put it there yet. Excuse me. So, okay. So I'm going to show you the cards and we'll go over them. We have the Hanged One, which is the Hanged Man energy here. All right. What is any challenges here? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, that's definitely a challenge for Aries sometimes, okay? So let's see here. What is your advice from Spirit? The Three of Wands. And what's the energy here in the near future? Not got too many cards. There we go. Wow. Okay. Oh, still got two cards. All right. So it must want two cards. Let's see here. Wow. So I'm going to show you the cards. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely coming, Aries. It's definitely coming for you. So the advice from Spirit here is the Three of Wands. And then we have the outcome that these cards came out together and it is the 10 of pentacles and the empress abundance, abundance, abundance. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician and right underneath it is the devil. So, and I want to talk about that too, because the devil energy here is what's been holding a lot of you back. I did a reading for myself this morning of my past manifestations present and then future and the devil was the first card that came out for me so you guys can look at that um i know it, the audio was bad because i was still connected to my bluetooth but i time stamped it if you want to go take a look at that so i'm going to clarify before we begin talking about these energies here for you today but it's looking good here looking really good So the hanged one, let's clarify that. Okay, the eight of wands. And the knight of pentacles. I think something is out. There it is. So that is a page of swords. <laughs> That's kind of the message that I was telling you guys that need to know needing to know needing to know that's what's slowing you down it's so crazy that is the message for this challenge that needing to know but we're gonna um i'm gonna keep going here what is the three of wands two cards came out so the three of wands here the lovers flew out okay and we have the knight of swords and this is the advice for spirit here all right and let's see here what is the outcome or the near future energy. <laughs> wow. You can't make this shit up. Okay. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles came out again, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> Should I pull one more? Is that here? Yes. Okay, let's pull one more. Let's see. There it is. All right. The hermit came out. So the moon here is at the bottom of the deck here. And I just want to show you guys this because the moon talks about those illusions, talks about fear being an illusion. It's not really real. Okay. Um, maybe in the dark, it looks real. It looks scary. It looks like it's something that you need to stop and, and pay attention to, but it's not. Okay, it's only something here that may, there may be a lesson there for you in that as well. So we have the hanged one is the main situation here with the eight of wands. This hangman energy talks about being still, waiting, 
right? This is also the Eight of Wands is receiving messages. Communication could quite easily, clearly be from the divine here. It's coming from the sky, right? This is quick, passionate messages, positive messages here. And this is why you may have been waiting. This is why you may have been forced to wait, okay? Because the hanging one talks about an awakening. You needed more information. You needed more messages. You needed that push. You needed that divine connection here to be truly, fully awakened, to step into your power and to move forward. Some of you may have Pisces very strongly has aspected in your chart here. Um, you don't have to. The Eight of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag energy as well. But you've been waiting for this communication. You've been waiting for this calling, and now you're getting it, and you're being a light. You're being an enlightened. I can I can never say that word. You're being enlightened, right? You're going through this awakening period. You're shedding a lot. So if you find yourself here, or you found that you have been here, the, like there's been delays, just know that you've been here for a reason. This has not been by accident. This is not because you are, you know, behind your timeline. This is not because, you know, everybody is, 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 is manifesting before you. This is because you are exactly where you need to be right now at this moment in time. Okay. And spirit is telling you that, that you were waiting on something and here it is. These messages, this communication. Okay. These spiritual downloads. Okay. So, and it's right underneath the prosperity lies ahead. So some of you may be receiving, um, you know, ideas about, you know, business ideas, manifestations, channels, whatever it is, however, whatever you're going to, because we got a lot of pinnacles in the outcome, right? So just know that if you've been in this energy of waiting or not getting it quite right, it's because that's where you were supposed to be. Okay. The challenge here, the Knight of Pentacles in the Page of Swords here, the Knight of Pentacles is a very great card for commitment. It's a very great card for money too. It's like the energy of slow and steady wins the race, right? You don't have to get to the end at warp speed. You don't have to be an overnight celebrity. You don't have to be an overnight success to not be eventually successful. Okay, some of you though, this page of swords here is a very inquisitive energy needing to know very quick. Um, so it, to me, it seems like some of you may have been getting in your own way a little bit by needing more information. And that's what I was talking about before. It may have been slowing you down, always needing to, and there's nothing wrong with learning, but always being in that energy of feeling like you need to know more. I need to do this. I need this. I need to go to this school. I need to go to this course. I tell people all the time, I didn't learn, I learned tarot, I learned tarot from YouTube. Okay. I learned tarot from watching videos. I learned tarot from, there's an actual YouTube video, you know, and I might make a course because a lot of people are asking me, but that's where I learned. Right. And a lot of times when people are like, well, I need to do this and I need to learn this. It's that's your fear talking. Okay. You just need to start putting in that action, that card that came out first. You need to start putting in that action and doing, because that's how a lot of you learn is by doing. Okay. So the advice from spirit here, the three of wands energy, this is that yearning, that burning desire, that knowing, that's what I should say. This is the knowing that what you've manifested, what you've put into the ethers is coming. Okay. Um, this is positive, this is a very positive card in the minor arcana here, right? You've, you've manifested, you've decided, and now you're just waiting. Okay. And so wait patiently, right? And I don't feel like you have to wait much longer because the clarification here is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords here is about taking action, right? Or this thing, literally, there's some sort of communication or message that's coming to you quite quickly right now. And it may have been just because you have taken that first step. And whatever it is that, you know, and it's different for a lot of people. Some of you, it could be a relationship coming towards you because you've taken that first step of really cleansing yourself from that old past negative energy. And now you have something very special and beautiful coming in. Some of you, this is just following your dreams, following your passion, following your heart. Okay. And now you're about to see quick forward movement in your manifestation. Okay. So we have the three of wands here. And then the outcome was the empress. And the Ten of Pentacles, clarifying, clarified by the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles here. So the Hermit here is somebody here who has spent their time alone, has done their research, has learned everything that needed to learn, and now they're following their own knowledge. 
They're following their own guidance system. Because when you really know, right, when you really know that all the answers that you ever are going to need are not on the internet, they're literally right here. They're all connected to your source energy. Everything is connected. There's commercials here. So, Ten of Pentacles, success, abundance. I mean, prosper, this is your prosperity lies ahead. I mean, it couldn't get any clearer than this. The Empress, Empress, I can say it, abundance, elevation, being on top of your game, being recognized, okay? A new beginning, being born again. I don't even know how else to say it. This is the money, people, okay? This is your prosperity. This It's coming for you, and it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And I don't know, please, if you haven't watched the Lionsgate um video that I did yesterday, please watch it. It's a lot of money coming in for a lot of you. So right now is the time that to heal, really, to get that negative energy off of you, to be in a higher vibration, because when you're in a higher vibration, all of this is going to come towards you like a magnet. There's not much you can do. Your blessings are going to run you down when you're in a high vibration, when you're not depressed, when you're not overthinking, when you're not saying what if, when you're not being an energy of lack. When you're not looking at your money going out the door, when you are in a high vibration, all of this abundance is going to attract to you like a magnet. You're not going to be able to run it down. Okay. It's, it's coming for you guys. So I just, this is a message here for someone needed to see this today that you need to ask yourself, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Because your blessings are literally chasing you right now at like warp speed. Okay, and that is this energy and this Leslie Lions Gates energy. It's trying to come to you. But you have to take action. You have to show the world the real you. Okay? You can't just sit excited and expect it to just come. There is some form of action that needs to be taken on your behalf. You have to meet the you have to meet the universe halfway. Okay, so it's time for a lot of you to step out of your comfort zone and to do that because your abundance here is waiting on you. It's waiting. Three of Wands here. Everything you, everything you've been waiting for is waiting on you. Everything that you're looking for is looking for you. And that's beautiful. All right. So that is what I have for you guys today. Be on the lookout for a few more videos. Also, if you have um, gotten a private reading this week, be on the lookout for that sometime today. Don't message me until tomorrow if you haven't gotten it. Okay. Um, also, you can go ahead and enter for the giveaway. Still don't have a giveaway prize. I want it to be something special this month. So I'm trying to think of something to give away. But go ahead and enter if you'd like. I'm still collecting names and taking them down. So um, that is what I have for you guys right now. And I will talk to you later. Bye.